What is your What are your goals as an artist? What makes you, What drives you? Why do you want to? Why do you paint what you paint? And what What is that? What are you hoping to achieve? To me, painting is spiritual for me, and I feel it's a it's a it's another way to connect with people uh, that where religion and politics could never do. When when uh, so I try to channel, you know, every painting, even though I'm talking about something that might be dark or, or something that's oppressive. But when you look at the work itself, it's a beautiful work of art. You know, nobody looks at this and says, oh, this is so dark and, and morbid. That's not what people see. They see, they see hope. They see beauty. And, and, I, and humanity is all of that. Despite the fact that we suffer, there's all these wars going on, all these people are dying. But hopefully at the, end, at the end of all of this, humanity itself can, can rise above all of this and we learn from it and move forward as, uh, as a society. And that's what I hope that my artwork does, is channel the positive energy that all of us have inside of us and allow it to come out and, and transform us. Team. So what was the inspiration behind the paintings? How did this come about? Well, I've been wanting to work on a Burka series, and my initial thought was to, uh, to cover all of this with different layers of orange colors and then do like a, a solid layers of black over it, and then come in with the middle white stripe. But I, I was working last night, something like magical happened. The brush just wanted to do its own thing, and, and after starting to layer, I, you know, I stood back and I saw something interesting happening uh, that I hadn't seen before in the work. So I, I allowed that uh, moment to kind of play out and see where it took me. So instead of coming in thick like I had initially thought, I said, you know, I, I want to see where this goes. And um, this is where it took me. I'm, I'm blown away, honestly, by what's happening here. So we'll see whether I stop here or whether I keep going a little further with it. I'm not sure yet. It really represents oppression within all three religions. I'm not just singling out one particular one from my own personal experience of being Christian and growing up a Jehovah Witness and all the pressure uh, to conform to their ideology was really difficult and to get away from it was almost impossible. It took me a long time to be able to walk away from, uh, from that organization. And to this day, I feel like I'm still suffering from it. Uh, my parents disowned me. Uh, they felt like I've abandoned my religion. Being gay is, is they find extremely offensive. It's something that God doesn't approve. Uh, and in their eyes, I'm, I'm dead uh, because that's what the Bible tells them. Describe this painting. What was the inspiration? What's the technique, the textures, the colors? Well, again, I'm working on the Burka series, and you know, uh, and I had one idea when I first started, but completely changed. So I start off with just so I use sand uh, on it to, to build up all of this texture, and then I wanted to put an underlayment of colors on it, and I start off with the, uh, with, the, uh, with the different shades of yellows. And... Uh, why yellow? What does that represent? Well, there was really nothing, no reason at the time. It was just one of those things. Again, I work on impulse. So, you know, I don't want to make up a story for everything. It was just yellow was the color and okra are the colors that I needed for some reason to apply to this. And I did. And then I started to do what I had envisioned, which is start off with turning this into completely black. But something happened again. I, I stopped and I, and I started working at the bottom playing, playing with the white and, and, and it kept calling, calling me to do something completely different with it. And I'm glad I did because, you know, what I see in front of me right now is a completely, completely different work of art that I wasn't even imagining doing. Uh, and I'm not sure where this is going to take me, but I'm, I'm really loving the simplicity. Like the, the, the white, you know, because I tend sometimes to go really heavy with some colors. But in this case, I pulled back so much and I just allowed the smallest amount of color 
to talk to me on Canvas, and, and I feel uh, that it turned out extremely successful. It's, I can't stop looking at it. Ha, ha, ha.